so update on what the fuck is going on. Um, the new apartment, yes, the new apartment is making myself and Franklin noticeably at the light. Turn right onto Grand Avenue. More sick. Um, uh, I woke up for literally five days straight with a migraine that nothing, nothing took away. I tried everything. Um, Franklin has declined drastically in the last couple weeks. Um, he like literally does not know where he is half the time and doesn't greet me at the door. Um, both of us have uh, thrown up a couple times. Delilah has as well. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right, 240 Grand Avenue. Um, so I'm at a loss right now. I've stayed at a, a shitty motel for two days because I have three dogs. It's not easy. are open which I haven't got to bed I'm out and I have to air the place out because I'm getting sick the rain is not even like a substantial amount of rain any amount of rain and it literally gets into my living room four to five feet so I'm sure that's been happening since um whoever lived there lived there and that would create uh mold so to speak I'm guessing um, I had the fire department come to look for make sure there was no gas leak or there was no carbon monoxide because I'm, I was that sick. I am that sick. Um, so I did stay at two really shitty hotels for two days, but I can't keep doing that because I need, I'm going to need to have to money, money to move. Okay, so, so last night I, Hoagie, Hoagie's becoming really aggressive. Like a liability to not only myself and these dogs, but to anybody else. The other night he would, he was so good all day in the car. I mean, we were in the car all day. When we finally found a place to stay, he would not get out of the car and he went to attack me twice. So, <sighs> liability. So, yesterday I brought him home. Um, and I can't stray too far because I still have to take care of him. I, I feel terrible even leaving him in there, but well, he's making this really difficult. So, last night I decided that we were just going to sleep in the car, me and the other two. And, whatever, so I parked in the back of my, my apartment. There's only like fucking five other people that live in that apartment building. It's very quiet, I mean it's like, so I parked all the way in the back and I, the cops called me fucking twice, once last Like, it is unreal, people are just nosy and the cops Today, the cops and the fire department paramedics all came today because somebody reported that I, I was a dead body in the car. I am so exhausted from not fucking... Fuck that place. Sorry, that was the dentist that fucked me. Um, from not sleeping or... I had so much going on. Like, I was so tired. So I passed out last night and I slept for like 11 hours in my car. Put stuff up on the windows, but apparently that made people suspicious last night. Even though they saw... They know, they know my car, they know I live there. Like, unreal. So today the cops were a lot nicer, but the fire department and the, oh god, it was the scene today because they were reporting a dead body. Nobody knocked on the window and woke me up or the dogs. Yeah, I'm in here dead with my dogs. Like, this is a fucking nightmare. I do not, you know, just to turn there. I do not wish this on my worst enemy and it's just getting worse. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, honestly, I'm at a loss. So, somebody had mentioned, can I get out this way? I can't, I just went around in the circle. Somebody had mentioned to me that because of my now new sensitivity to mold, that because I'm living in a new, brand new construction building, that is a bad idea because the, the VOCs, the Vox, or whatever you want to call them, um, from the new construction are, I should never have moved into a, a, a building with new construction, which is the first I'm ever hearing of that. Um, and I don't know who this person is, so to speak, but they're on, they just commented on Reddit. But I mean, I'm not so sure they're wrong because I feel so sick in that apartment, and Franklin does as well. It would make sense. It's just I'm surprised it's the first I'm hearing about it. I mean, I I thought something with the Vox VOC because mold is just one one of them. There's a million other things, and then I was having a problem with my dryer, so I I don't know, but I never. 
this was like as big of a mistake as it's seeming to be. I also thought maybe it was my contaminated stuff, which the headache for me started the day I slept. I put my mattress up and I was sleeping on my mattress the last couple days and that's when the headache started. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll get rid of the mattress. But Franklin's problem started and I started, other than the headache, I started last week or a week before I even used the mattress. I was throwing up in the morning. I don't know why. And no, I'm not fucking pregnant. That's not even a, that's not even a possibility. Like, not at all. Um, it was just random waking up and throwing up. Like, no pre-warning or nothing. Both these two dogs have thrown up. Hoagie is acting absolutely out of this world again. Um, <sighs> tell him I'm at a loss of what to do, really. I'm at a loss for what to do. Um, I feel like these dogs are somewhat suffering. You should see her back there. I mean, they're actually being really good. Hoagie is really good, except when I tried to get him out of the car. He didn't want to go back inside, even though it wasn't going inside. He didn't know that. Um, he's usually, I didn't have to put him in the crate in the car. He was so good. And we were in the car all day the other day. I kept stopping places, running in, running out, because I didn't know what I was doing yet. And the dogs obviously stayed in the car. God, it's not hot outside because we wouldn't be able to do this. Um, but the temperature is actually okay. It's not cold and it's not warm. Um, and they've all been really, really good for the most part. Like, really good. Um, but I know this is not ideal for them and I can't do this forever. I honestly don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and of course the worst part is that nobody believes me. Nobody, nobody really cares enough. Like, I not talked to my mother or my father. As far as I'm concerned, they don't believe me or they don't care. And So if I have no no um, proof or anything that there's something in this apartment, like AKA that there's not a mold problem, which I would have to pay to find out once again. This time I would not use a mold inspector. I would absolutely 110% use the Ermi testing, which neither of them are gonna hold up in court, but <laughs> mold sampling is a joke. Like not only can you get false samples, but um, the last apartment turned out to tell me there was no problem. Even the mold inspector said he didn't understand what the heck was going on. But his word versus the air sample results. <sighs> um, I can't stay in my car again. I mean, I don't know. I just went and bought a tent from some guy on Craigslist, which I'm just thinking about setting that up in my house and just, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. And of course, with all this going on, I'm not working still. Um, I spent more since fucking May. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm honestly just scared um for my sake and for my animal's sake nobody believes me nobody people think i'm exaggerating i'm not i feel so much better since i left there my headache went away my arm has been numb a total of two times when it was numb five times a day there very well <laughs> okay so i just went about that stupid tent it's raining out and i decided to come back in with all my stuff from the car <laughs> my laundry um i feel okay right now i really do don't i really do need to take a shower because i haven't in a few days because i haven't been in here i did one of the days i was in the hotel not yesterday before i know i'm going to do that and try to situate the stuff and i set up the tent, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but, like, don't, don't, look at this mess I have to pick up, you can wait a few minutes, all three dogs in the crates, they're gonna have to stay there for a while, for what's going on, but, I need to document everything, because, huh, nobody believes me, but, it's now 8.40, oh my god, 8.40, I can't locate something, but I leave that.